Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Sullivan. Today we're going to be looking at the Amazon Shopping application for tablet computers, uh, which is newly released and available for Android tablets. Uh, previously they only had a phone version of the application available, uh, but they've now released the tablet version, which is a little bit more optimized, and uh, it looks fabulous on the Google Nexus 10, which is the device that we're going to be looking at here today. So I'd just really like to quickly go over the features available in this application. Uh, we're at the home screen right now where there's a variety of banners that allow you to kind of view some uh, hot deals that they have a bit available. They also have the gold box deals available at this home screen, so you can simply tap on that and it'll bring up what the current gold box deal is. Uh, you can also kind of browse through the uh, future lightning deals and kind of see which categories uh, are going to be coming up for new gold box deals. Uh, there's also some kind of best deals down here uh, that you can kind of scroll through. And um, yeah, so that's it for the home screen. Uh, next, let's check out the cart. Uh, the cart allows you to see any items that are obviously within your cart, as well as items that you've saved to buy later but aren't necessarily in your wish list. Uh, so you can see I've got a few items uh, here that I've saved for later. Um, going on, we have the wish list area, and you can have multiple wish lists here. Uh, currently, I just have the one wish list, but as you can see, you can just scroll through the items. Uh, very smooth scrolling with a little bit of hiccups here and there, um, but overall looks pretty good, uh, pretty simple and easy to use. Uh, you can also search for a friend's uh, wish list there if you'd like. Uh, you can also go to your account to manage your account. Uh, you can view your orders here that you've placed in the past. Uh, you can also look through the different uh, years here to kind of filter the data for which order you're looking for. Uh, under the one-click settings, you can simply enable one-click ordering, uh, which I'm not going to go into because there's personal information in there. Um, and yeah, I mean, that pretty much sums up the app. Uh, I will go to the recommendations area again, and uh, we've, we've got the ability to kind of filter for different departments. And I really like this because Amazon has a great recommendation system. Um, there, there's some strategy games that I personally like, and it's actually recommending some really other interesting some other uh, interesting looking games here. Uh, so I would definitely check this feature out. You know, if you're looking to buy a new game, like a board game or something, um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to find you some great results there. Also, you know, if you're looking to buy a new gadget or maybe some new home improvement stuff, you can kind of go to those categories and see what the recommendations are. And uh, hopefully you find the recommendations useful, but it's really nice to just be able to kind of filter by category uh, when you're looking for those recommendations. So definitely check out the tablet version of the Android shopping application if you're a big Amazon user. Um, it looks great. It's much better optimized for the tablets and I'm glad that they finally uh, this March, I think it was March 2nd that they released this application. Um, so I'm glad that they have the tablet optimized version. Uh, so check it out and we'll see you next time. Thanks. I will also mention that I would like to see Amazon develop a couple of home screen widgets for Android tablets that allow you to view your wish list items as well as view order history and maybe even some product recommendations. So again, you know, they, they haven't included any Amazon uh, widgets right now, but that would definitely be a great improvement to this application.